snake is um, the course the corn snake it eats mites mice rats quail and, and geckos and um, and they are hunted by foxes um, possums skunks bobcats wheels and hawks and um, they what, what's interesting about them is they are classified as least concerned and stable and um, they they're actually non venomous um, but they they do prey on other small organisms which obviously help control their population and um, they're and they live in barns abandoned homes rocky open areas and wooded places and based on what I'm seeing about them they to me they look exotic just because of how they um, just because of their pa their pattern and, and the way in the, in the different colors it, it almost looks like one of those poisonous snakes even though they're not poisonous but I think it looks very exotic the way the the, the um the way the um, colors go go on the snake and the way they're they're contrasting between the light and darker shades of red. Uh, now the eastern garter snake, they eat worm, slugs, frogs, and toads, and they are hunted by hawks, crow, hawks, crows, be, uh, bears, bullfrogs, snapping turtles, and they are actually not in decline. They are classified as least concerned and not endangered. They do prey on other small organisms, which help, which does help to control their environment. And um, they are often found near um, water, basically in moist environments, like grassy, moist environments, especially near lakes or ponds. Um, to me, they look pretty um, terrifying, even though they're not, I think because of yellow and black shade. I mean, the yellow and dark brown shade on them makes them look terrifying, uh, even though they, they pretty much keep to themselves for the most part. Now, the eastern king snake. They eat snakes, rodents, lizards, and birds. What's interesting about them is they're non-venomous, and they still eat other snakes. And um, by eating other snakes, they actually do eat venomous snakes that can harm people. So they do help, and that's their, eco that's their ecological niche. They obviously prey in small organisms, which also helps their population. They live in swamps, farmlands, suburban areas, and forests. I've actually encountered one in my own house. And the good news is they're at least classified. They're classified as least concern. So it's, uh, that's pretty cool. Now, despite their awesome look, I'm actually going to put the king snake under... Um, I'm going to put the king snake under average. It just looks like an average snake. Like, it almost comes across as a rat snake. It doesn't look like anything terrifying. Now, the eastern racer. They eat small rodents, frogs, toads, lizards, and other, sm and other small snakes. They are hunted by bird, birds, dogs, cats, coyotes. Um, they are classified as least concern. They do prey on their small organism, which helps control their environment. And they live in open grassland type habitats. You probably encountered one um, walking down the park. And, I, and they look pretty much average. They look like a rat snake if you, if you encounter one. They're just black. And it looks pretty average to me. Alright, now the gray rat snake, they eat frogs, lizards, small rodents, such as mice. Um, this is the gray rat snake we're talking about. They're hunted by fox, ho foxes, hawks, and owls, and um, they're actually listed as endangered in some places, like Canada, for for example, is also rare in Wisconsin, but is not endangered in Georgia, which is good, because uh, that's obviously where I live. Um, they prey on other small organisms, which help control their population. They are food for larger animals like hawks and eagles. And they live in many types of hardwood forests and cypress stands along tree lined streams and fields. And eat, they even live around barns. So that's pretty interesting, actually. Now, the gray rat snake, um, when I first saw him, just a very basic look. Um, you know, some, some pattern on him. Um, I'm going to put him as. Um, I'm actually going to put him as average. Because he just looks average, there's nothing exotic about him at all. Now the mud snake, they eat, now the mud snake is much different because they eat giant aquatic salamanders. Um, young snakes may also consume other amphibians, including salamander larvae and tadpoles. Now what eats them? Well, hawks, bobcats, and weasels eats them, and they are not in decline, which is great. They prey on other small organisms, which help control their population. And they live in highly aquatic and spend most of their lives hidden among, um, hidden among vegetation and debris. Now, based on what I've seen, because they have a red belly, 
they're black around, they look terrifying. Now, they're not venomous, which is fantastic, but they look horrifying. Look at just the black and the, and the red. It makes them look like a, um, makes them almost look like a wrestler uh, uh, colors because it has this red and black contrasting colors. It looks, they look deadly. So, um, the northern water snake, they obviously eat fish and amphibians. Now, what eats them is large snakes such as milk snakes, racers, raccoons, skunks, and foxes. And they are classified as least concern. They prey on other small organisms, which obviously help their population. They also control the populations of fish and amphibians and other reptiles. Now, they live in ponds and vernal pools and lakes. Now, if I, now they are, now for me, when if I look at them, they, they, to me, they look exotic. Just cause, they look exotic because of this, they're very scaly and the, um, and, and, and the brown, and the various shades of brown on them and the black and, and, and they almost have like little dots on their um, on their head. It just look very exotic. All right, the plain-bellied water snake. What do they eat? They eat fish, amphibians, and frogs. What eats them? Hawks, cottonmouths, king snakes, and bass. They are actually classified as least concerned. What's interesting about them is they do prey on other small org organisms, which just help their population. But they also control the populations of fish and amphibians. Now, they live in lakes, ponds, and any natural wetland they can find, and they look very basic, like a regular, they almost look like a rat snake. So, um, they look, to me, the plain-bellied water snake just looks average. Alright, now, the ring-neck snake. What do they eat? They eat worms, lizards, and frogs. Now, they're lar now, now, larger snakes, like king snakes and racers, actually eat this kind of snake. Now, they are actually classified as least concerned because they are not in decline. Um, they actually play a small role in biodegradation by moving through surface debris such as branches and leaves within forests. They also take on they also take on the role of predator and prey within their habitat, helping to control pest populations and serving as a substance for larger animals. They can be found in open in open woodlands, near rocky um, hillsides or in, or in wetter environments with the um, abundant with the woody debris within riparian and wet environments. So if I saw these, because of the orange and the grayish colors, um, it almost kind of reminds me of a shoe a little bit because of the uh, like, a, like, like a running shoe color, but it's really terrifying to look at. So this is actually going to be classified either terrifying or exotic, but to me, I'm going to put them as exotic because it looks really, really neat. It almost looks like a tie-dye snake um, based on their colors. Now, um, last but not least, we have the rough green snake, and they eat insects and worms. Now, larger snakes like black rashers or king snakes will actually eat this kind of snake. And um, they're actually hunted by domesticates and eat domestic cats and even spiders as well. Now, while they are not endangered species, there is, there is evidence for their decline in certain areas such as Florida. Now, I've actually experienced the rough green snake, and they actually live in... Um, coral and shrubs, uh, vines, thick vegetation areas, bushes. During cool weather, green snakes often take refuge on the ground and can sometimes be find, hi, found hiding under logs, rocks, debris. Um, small, they, they can also roam on small trees and bushes, like I was saying. When encountered, green snakes often freeze, relying on their green coloration for camouflage. Camouflage. Thus, they sleep in green atmospheres. In other words, they sleep in green atmospheres so they can blend in. And based on what I've seen about them, is I'm gonna put them under um, average because they don't look that terrifying. They're small in length, and they're just and they're um, and they're just green, and they just they almost look like a little worm. <laughs> anyway, 